Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? What we're going to be talking about today is something that a lot of us have in our prepper pantries, and that is mustard. And we're going to be talking about the shelf stability of mustard. And I think it's important that we start talking about shelf stability. Um, because a lot of us are building up our prepper pantries and the one thing that a lot of us should focus on are spices and condiments, okay? Um, whether you go with different kinds of mustards, okay, like what's your favorite? Uh, do you like yellow mustard, Dijon mustard, spicy brown, stone ground, whole grain, okay? Uh, I prefer honey mustard, okay? Do you like oh, a horseradish in your mustard, cranberries in your mustard? Okay, there's proper storage is critical, okay, when it comes to condiments. And it's critical to making the most of this versatile condiment, okay? Now, one of the reasons why I want to talk about this is because a lot of the foods that we put in our prepper pantries we like to have non-perishables things that are versatile things that we don't have to worry about spoiling I guess you could say right and one of the things, one of the questions that I've always had was if mustard should have to be refrigerated or if it can be stored in your pantry. And ideally, mustard should be kept in the fridge at least after opening. But that's not to say that it will go bad if you happen to leave it out. Mustard by nature is antibacterial, so therefore it is shelf stable. When you add vinegar, salt, etc., it helps to extend the shelf life stability. Now, ultimately, like sriracha, for example, Mustard never really spoils in the sense that it will taste rancid or it will make you sick. Once air, water, and vinegar hit the mustard seed, they start to release their heat, which is not reversible. It could only be slowed down. Because mustard doesn't go bad in the traditional sense, bottles and jars are usually labeled with a best buy date. We've, in the years past, we've talked about best buy dates, yes? Rather than expiration date. That best buy date is there to let you know that the product will start to lose its flavor and potency by that date even when it's kept in an unopened, sealed container. Technically, mustard can last indefinitely, but it won't have that much flavor for a while. For maximum potency, use mustard by the best buy date on the bottle. After opening, refrigerate your mustard to preserve its flavor eat it within six months to enjoy it the way that it was intended to taste rather than dulled aged version. Though it is shelf stabled, it should still be kept in the fridge after opening to prolong the complexity, the heat, the flavor. Now those who prefer like room temperature mustard can leave it unrefrigerated, but you should still try to eat it within a month or two to maintain the flavor profile as much as possible. Now, if you do not eat your mustard within a recommended time frame, uh, if you are fine with that flavor loss, that type of thing, okay? Now, does the type of ma mustard matter? 
no, not really. All mustards should be kept in the fridge after opening to keep them tasting their best. Of course, strong spicy mustards may still taste good longer than those with a more mild, subtle flavor profile. So, though mustard itself might not go bad, bits of bread or swirls of mayonnaise and other contaminants embedded in the mustard can become hotbeds for bacterial growth. While mustard itself will prevent a lot of things from growing in it, you start to add foreign ingredients, there will be a level at which mustard cannot prevent growth. That's why you'll see mustard always with the squeeze bottle, not like how uh, mayonnaise is with the lid that you can twist off, okay? Now, to avoid contaminating your mustard with other foods, use a clean utensil every time, you know, that type of thing. Avoid spreading it on your sandwich and then using the same knife to get out, you know, your mustard and stuff like that. So, if you think there could be a cross-contamination, always make sure to put it in the fridge, that type of thing, okay? All right, guys, I'm out of here. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, you stay safe, you stay positive, you keep prepping, and as always, fearless.